Our next paper is from uh, Royal Alexander Children's Hospital in Brighton. It's titled Appendicectomy for Chronic Right Iliac Ossa uh, Pain Correlating Histologies with Outcome. Dr. Pardy. Hello. My name is Caroline Pardy. I'm one of the trainees at the Royal Alexander Children's Hospital in Brighton. So the role of laparoscopic appendicectomy in chronic right iliac fossa pain is being increasingly recognized. And the literature reports resolution of pain between 60 to 98% following laparoscopic appendicectomy. So the aim of our study was to review the correlation of histological findings with resolution of pain in a single surgeon series of laparoscopic, laparoscopic appendicectomy performed for chronic right iliac fossa pain. So we collected our data prospectively. It was a single surgeon series over 11 years. And we defined chronic right iliac fossa pain as pain that lasted at least one month. And no clear cause could be identified following routine serology, urinalysis, and ultrasound examination. And all appendixes were examined histologically. So we reviewed pain at post-operative review. And we also retrospectively reviewed all the notes to ensure that there were no further clinical presentations with pain following discharge from surgical follow-up. So we had 39 children, 26 of whom were female, and the median age was 12. The duration of right iliac fossa pain was a median of six months. And interestingly, in seven of the patients, there were functional comorbidities. So two were under the care of a psychiatrist, two had, three had been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, and two had been diagnosed with chronic pain syndrome. Two of the procedures were carried out using single incision laparoscopic surgery. The rest were performed with standard laparoscopic appendicectomy technique. The follow-up was a median of two months, but ranged from one to 15 months. And all of our children reported resolution of their pain. In 74% of the appendixes removed, um, histological features were identified. So the most common in 11 were prominent lymphoid hyperplasia, then fecalis, pus in the lumen, and features of early suppurative inflammation and distal luminal fibrosis. In 10 patients, the histology of the appendixes were normal, but interestingly, there were some other findings. So in three patients, uh, adhesions were identified between the cecum and the abdominal wall, which were taken down intraoperatively. In one patient, the cecum was noted to be mobile and unfixed, and a cecopexy was performed. In two patients, there were gynecological pathologies identified, which were thought could explain the pain. And actually, out of all of the patients, there were only four patients that had histologically normal appendixes and no other possible cause of pain identified. In terms of other findings identified intraoperatively in the patients that had histologically abnormal appendixes, oh, sorry. six patients were identified to have adhesions between the cecum and the abdominal wall, which were taken down. Um, a further three were identified to have what was thought to be a mobile unfixed cecum, and a cecopexy was performed. Five patients had gynecological pathology, and one patient had a histologically normal appendix, but was found to be colonized with actinomyces. So in order to determine the histological significance, I'll briefly review some adult literature. So in this study, um, appendicectomy was performed at the time of caesarean section. 45 appendixes were, remo were removed, and histological changes were actually identified in 20% of these appendixes. And the most common findings were lymphoid hyperplasia, fibrous obliteration of the distal lumen, and foci of minim minimal acute inflammation. A second similar study looked at incidental appendicectomy at the time of hysterectomy, and 100 appendicectomies were performed, and 31% of these appendixes had histological changes. Again, the most common findings were uh, fibrous obliteration, lymphoid hyperplasia, and in this study, mucosal. 
There's a study, again, in adults that's been performed in the Netherlands, which is a randomized controlled trial um, evaluating elective laparoscopic appendectomy for chronic right lower quadrant pain. 18 patients were randomized to appendectomy, and 78% of these patients reported improved pain. However, consistent with our findings, only 61% of the appendixes showed histological changes. So to conclude, laparoscopic appendectomy does appear to be effective in the management of chronic right iliac fossa pain. And the use of laparoscopy, laparoscopy enables identification and management of other potential sources of pain. The findings in our study do seem to be consistent with the literature um, in that not all of the children who reported resolution of pain were found to have histologically abnormal appendixes. And so currently the significance of these histological changes still seems to be uncertain. paper is open for discussion. All of the monster from Mainz. Very nice uh, study that confirmed what was shown previously essentially, like 60%, 70% something get better no matter what they have. Uh, but the question is, is this placebo surgery? Like, is it due to the, uh, uh, the appendectomy or just by doing something. Um, the other thing that we found, or that uh, generally is said that short term, it, uh, the symptoms resolve, but they generally recur in long term. What was your follow up with that? And have those uh, children presented again with pain? So um, that was the reason why we actually retrospectively went through all of the notes, because the surgical follow up was quite short. In some cases, the shortest follow up was a month. Um, when they were discharged, but they were always encouraged to come back if they had more pain. But I actually went through all the sets of notes individually to check that they hadn't actually come under the care of other specialties later in life. Um, and actually, they hadn't. But the other thing was that I did look into the patients that seemed to have an element of uh, psychiatric disturbance. Um, they did go on to have chronic pain management, but actually it was pain in other places. So I suspect there is a degree of a placebo effect um, that these people might be prone to experiencing pain, but the fact they've had an appendectomy seems to have resolved their pain. Very nice, thank you. I have a question for you. Could you comment on your protocol for your preoperative workup for the patients with chronic iliac fossa pain? I don't think we have a standardized protocol, but a lot of these patients actually have been referred to the surgical department, having been really extensively investigated with under the care of other departments. So a lot of the patients had had endoscopies and extensive investigation before coming to us, but we don't have a standardized investigation protocol. Mm 